Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come your way and spend this time with you in God's Word and prayer. This week, we're going to focus on the theme, Still I Will Praise Him. Psalm 42 and verse 5, David says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise Him for the help of His countenance. Many times in life we go through things that are very difficult, harsh sometimes, things that are unexpected, things that are turbulent. And then in those times, we wonder what we should do. Sometimes things are so difficult, we wonder, where is God? And sometimes it's almost like the situations, the circumstances, and perhaps even people ask us, where is your God? See, David in Psalm 42 was in one of those seasons of his life. This was towards the latter part of his life where his own son Absalom had grown up, now rebelled against him. And King David literally had to flee along with some of his faithful men, leave the palace, run for his own life. He went out by the river Jordan and then he went out into the mountains, trying to preserve himself, keep himself alive because there was rebellion. And in that moment, it seemed like people were asking him, where is your God? The God that you went to worship, the God that you were so faithful to, where is your God? And in that moment, David is trying to encourage himself as he says, don't be cast down, O my soul. Don't be disquieted, disturbed within me. Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. I want to highlight this week what David said, I shall yet praise him. Imagine King David from being the ruler of this, uh, being a very successful ruler, having established the kingdom, now had to run for his life, almost in shame and dishonor. And David is saying, in this moment, I shall yet praise him. I want to place before you this challenge that no matter what we go through in life, we must learn to yet praise the Lord. And as we focus on that through this week, we will talk about why that's important and how that will change us and our circumstances when we choose to yet praise our God. Why do we choose to still do that? Or why can we choose to still do that? One obvious reason is God is still God. Our circumstances are harsh. What we are going through is very difficult. It makes us feel like, where is God? Or why hasn't he intervened? Why hasn't he stepped out to heal or deliver or provide or answer a prayer or do something? Where is my God? And even in those moments, we can still praise him because God is God. He is still God. He is still who he says he is. He hasn't changed any of his covenant names. He hasn't altered his covenant. He is still good, he is still faithful, he is still merciful, he is still a God who provides, a God who heals, God who delivers. So David encourages himself and says, hope in God, the unchangeable, the immutable God. Hope in God. There is no variableness with him. There is no shadow of turning with him. Hope in God. Therefore, I shall still praise Him, even in times like this, in seasons like this. Choose to do that. Look at God and say, God, I know you haven't changed. I will still praise you. Let's take a moment to pray. Father, we look to you today. And no matter what's going on in our lives personally, in the lives of our families, and things around us, we hope in God. 
and we shall still praise you. We shall yet praise you, Father, because you are God. No matter what's going on, no matter what's happened, you are still our God and we shall still praise you. We honor you today. We glorify you today. We exalt you today. We magnify you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.